Welcome to another video. Today I'll be introducing you to a Home Assistant custom integration I've been busy creating for the past few days. With this integration, you'll have the ability to bring ChatGPT into your Home Assistant. This could then be included in automations and dashboard views. The possibilities are endless. This is just a starting point where we introduce the platform into Home Assistant. So let's jump onto Home Assistant and grab the integration from Hacks. Go to the integrations page and you'll need to add a custom repository which I'll have linked in the description. If you don't already have Hacks, check out my previous video showing you how this can be installed. For the category drop down menu, select integration, then click the add button. You should then see the OpenAI response integration populate in Hacks. Now we just need to open up this new repository and press the download button to grab the custom component files from GitHub. After the download is complete, you'll have a prompt telling you to restart Home Assistant. For any integration install on Hacks, you'll always need to restart. So go to Develop Tools and Restart Home Assistant. We now need to add in a couple of entities within the configuration.yaml file, so open up your file editor add-on. You should now see a custom components directory, and inside that will be the OpenAI response integration we just installed. The brains behind this integration lives within the sensor.py file. Feel free to take a look, and I welcome any comments for improvements. Firstly, we need to add in the input text entity to write the questions to ChatGPT. Make sure you keep the name as GPT underscore input. Then finally, we need to add in the sensor. Include the sensor domain if you haven't already. The platform will be OpenAI Response. You'll need to include the API key. You can generate a key free of charge from the OpenAI site within the API keys page. So if you haven't already, create an OpenAI account. Come to this page, click Create New Secret Key and use this key within the sensor. The last two options is the name for the sensor. This could be anything of your choice and then the ChatGPT model. If you're unsure, don't worry because both the name and the model definitions are optional. You don't need to include these on your sensor. Without including these options, the name will default to Hasio OpenAI Response and the model will default to TextDaVinci003. Once you've finished with the input text and sensor, again we just need to restart Home Assistant to populate both the input text and sensor in your Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant is rebooted, we can double check both the entities were created. So first I'm going to check the input text called GPT input. Then I'm going to check the sensor called Hasio OpenAI Response. A point to note on this sensor, initially I scripted the integration to post any responses from OpenAI to the sensor's state. This however wouldn't work well as the state only allows a maximum of 255 characters, which caused issues on some of the longer responses. I therefore opted for all the responses to be sent to the attribute response text, as attributes do not have a character limit. The only thing left to do now is add this to a dashboard and test it out. So hit the three dots and click edit dashboard. This dashboard in particular, I'm using the custom component layout card from Hacks to organize where my cards are positioned. Check out my previous video if you want more information on this. Both my new entities will live inside a grid card. The first card inside this grid will be my input text, which is what we use to send a prompt to chat GPT. For this I'll use the Entities card, remove the default entities and add in the Input Text entity. Then I'm going to add a Markdown card to display the response which will be sent to our new sensors attribute response text. Again remove all the default content and add in a template which will point to the sensors response text attribute. Thank you. 
And finally, I'm just going to tell the grid card where it needs to be positioned within the custom component layout card using the view layout command. In this case, the grid area I want to use is C1. Obviously, if you don't have the layout card component installed, you can just ignore this step. So now you should have something that looks like this. We can now type a prompt into the GPT input, press enter, and you should see an AI generated response from OpenAI below in our markdown card. So how you use this now is completely up to you. I'll be excited to hear what ideas you come up with for this. Feel free to post them all in the comment section below. All the YAML code used in this video will be listed in the description and a full guide can be found on my GitHub repository. As always, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest content.